Good morning, and welcome to Bumblebee Junction. Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. It is a beautiful morning, and all of the morning chores are done. It has been a very busy, very fun week, so why don't we go and um, see if we can't take a little walk. Okay, we'll start out here in the extras garden. Out here behind Mark's shop goes our bean plants from the last picking on the beans. And we have chose to go ahead and put those out here to compost in place. But as you can see, that big mound is gone. And all of the potatoes that came out of that mound are in the house. Yeah. They are really, really good, and we sent some home with mom and dad, too. But this garden is completely done for the year and shut down. Okay, these are the two beds that we had those beans in, and they have been shut down temporarily. And I did let everybody know that I cut these off at the ground and if you're interested in why I did that you can look at the video on cut the last bean picking but those two beds are shut down temporarily because that's where we're going to be planting garlic here very soon and one exciting thing that I wanted to show you I planted four beds of these peas. This is the first one that marks handy dandy new trellises here and they are coming up like gangbusters. Got some already up and have their little feelers out and some that are still just coming up. We have three more of those beds. The second bed over here and they are really just starting to come up in this bed. Now I think there are two of the beds that are coming up faster than the other two and it actually has to do with the shade from the trellis. The peas that are slightly shaded by the trellis are actually coming up faster. Yeah. The collards growing nice and happy and boom these are the little beans that i planted and you can see i put my arm down in here they are already about to my elbow tall lots of new growth and they are already thinking about putting on blooms this half of the bed are the yellow beans and this half of the bed are the green beans yeah they grow very, very fast. But come over here to yellow squash. There is still a little bit of yellow squash in there. And they are still blooming, but they are start, starting to die back a bit. Our nighttime temps have been dropping, and it is signaling them to quit producing. Okay, quick look at my bed full of tomato clones. And they have gotten considerably larger too. And they are now starting to put some blooms on. Now, these guys are not going to be left outside. I'm going to move them. But I'll talk a little bit more about that in a few minutes. Let's sneak over here. Look at the Brussels sprouts. And... Let's see what else do we got going on over here. Oops. We got a weed going on. We're going to go ahead and get that while we're standing here. All right. Um, down here, you can see we got beets. And these are the most recently planted broccoli. Looking very happy. All right, here's one more of the beds of peas and these guys are just starting up. Now these are on the same side of the trellis 
that the last bed I showed you was. They are really just starting to come up. And right behind me is the bucket garden. Yeah, there's still more peppers out here, but yeah, and they're still blooming like crazy. But the the one thing that I've been working on kind of behind the scenes, and I'll show you when I've got it done, is these pepper plants are going to be going indoors over the winter. Now, pepper plants are actually a perennial, and they will live about seven years. And it has been a while since we took some indoors and kept them over the winter. But that is where these guys are destined to go. Some nice little poblanos on there. But I've been working on getting their space set up in the basement. And I've got to get the lighting and everything set up for them. Yeah, Definitely need to be out here picking some more peppers. Now these are my smaller peppers that I planted. And they are just starting to put a few blooms on. And believe it or not, there are still a few that are trying to come up. But these little guys are going to go indoors too. They definitely don't have enough size on them to be outside. But they are plenty big enough to get potted up. And brought in the house for the winter. And then they will be nice and big and ready for spring. And that brings us over here to this bed of peas. Now this is one of the beds that gets a little bit more shade from the trellis. And I think that um, that is probably why they're coming up like crazy. Now the one just opposite me that I showed you first is the other one that gets a little bit of shade from the trellis. So I think they're enjoying that. But our temps are supposed to cool off a bit. In the next coming week, we're going to be down in the lower 70s. And that is the weather that peas really, really enjoy. Now we're over here looking at the broccoli. These are the first two beds that we planted. They're getting really, really nice and big. Yeah, coming down here with some freshly planted spinach. And all of my radishes. Down here, they're growing really, really thick. But get down in here and see that one right there. That is huge. Yeah, that's about almost as wide as my fist. And there are several in there that are just as big. Now, these are the Crunchy Kings that we planted in the spring that got so big. And yeah, they are very big not quite as big as the ones in the spring we haven't had quite as much rain but I do water every morning and they are still doing very well very pleased with with those okay I'm going to try not to blind you too bad but the sun is just coming up over the trees and the woods across the street but I wanted to show you the baby cucumbers in the hanging pots yeah, they're doing very well. We've got a few more down here. Yeah. It's fun replanting those. Not sure if they're exactly going to produce quite like the first ones because it is the end of the season. But really happy to have them growing. Hopefully we can get them up on March wonderful trellises. Okay, I am going to go ahead and call it a day. It is really starting to get warm. I have my chickens mostly painted. And they have been painted to resemble, I know they don't look exactly like them, but they've been painted to resemble the Brahmas that are in the pen. And they are buff lace Brahmas, so I mixed three different colors of tan with my brown and white. And did about the best I could. Now, the chick these chickens in particular have fuzzy legs. So, I do have a little bit more detail work. But it is probably going to have to wait until later this evening. 
but that's where we stand right now. It is taking a bit longer than I expected, but I am doing the detail work and stuff in my spare time in the mornings when it's cooler. It is not cooler right now, so I am going to go ahead and just call it a day. It might come out maybe later this evening, or certainly tomorrow morning, and do a little bit more work. Okay, yeah, it is starting to get warm already, but I think today and tomorrow are supposed to be the warmest for a little while. They keep promising rain, but it hasn't come to fruition very much yet, so... Yeah, we are expecting cooler temperatures coming up. The humidity right now is crazy, if you can't tell. Whew. Anyway, yeah, I should probably keep a brush out here so you don't have to see me looking all scruffy. But it has been a wonderful week. We're getting ready to get the garlic planted. And like I said, um, I am working on indoors, trying to get everything ready and set up to move a bunch of the pepper plants and the cloned tomatoes indoors for the winter. And I have the opportunity to have a nice big space this year. So yeah, I like to bring in as many as possible. And yeah, I do have a couple of things that I've got to get to before I can get back to painting today. Um, now I do have the, the two two coats of paint on the chickens that I'm painting on the coop and I would like to get them painted today and hopefully start getting into some of the flowers and the vines but the end that I'm going to be painting white is probably going to have to wait until the temps cool down just a little bit um I don't think there's anything else to add to that quite yeah I think that's pretty much it for right now. Um, we do have a few fun things planned for this upcoming week. And, um, yeah. Don't want to give any of that away yet. So, I am going to go ahead and get on out of here. But, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Don't forget to ring that little bell. It'll let you know when I have something else cool I'm going to show you in the garden. Um, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, anything along your mind, please leave them in the little box below. And if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. But yeah, I do have to get to work, so I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. Thank you for spending a few moments of your day with me. And don't forget, we love you, and we'll see you in the next one.